a Muslim should and must respect the Quran, Muhammad, and Allah otherwise is considered blasphemous or murtad, apostate. So basically, when Muslims require you to respect their religious observations, or when they expect you to respect the Quran or Muhammad or Allah, they are applying the Islamic Sharia on you, which means you have become Muslims when a Muslim woman refuses to shake hands with you. This means you are considered unclean because Muslims, mainly Sunnites, consider non-Muslims unclean just as a pig is considered unclean to them. There is something called taqiyya in Islam. What this basically means is deception. They are allowed to hide, lie, and deceive their enemies when they are weak or have low numbers. But once as they get strong, they expose their true identity. So do not humble yourselves and call for peace while you are at you highest points. And God is with you, and he will not leave you for your deeds. Quran, Surah Muhammad, verse 35. So when they're telling now that Islam is the religion of peace, do realize that this is taqiyya, because they are now weak. It won't take long for them to show you their true colors. The most fanatics of Muslims are Sunnites. Sunnites are prepared to take control of Sweden and take women captives and kill men, even though Sweden has sheltered them. They have admitted this to Arabic-speaking non-Muslims. You might ask, who can we trust as speaking the truth about Muslims then? Arabic-speaking non-Muslims, such as Yazidis, Jewish, Christians, and ex-Muslims. Ex-Muslims know Islam in depth and have a conflict of interest that serves you. They are not interested in Islam taking over because the apostates are among the first of who will get killed by Muslims. If Islam was to take over in Europe, 